1987, teen actors Corey Haim and Corey Feldman appeared in a vampire movie that catapulted them to fame and fortune. Unfortunately, fame was fleeting, and the Corys left the public eye with bad headlines and bad habits. Twenty years later, here's Corey Feldman. He's married. He's a working actor. He's a neat freak. Here is Corey Haim. He's single. He's unemployed. He's a slob. And two former heartthrobs and a wife share a house without driving each other crazy. You forget I'm Canadian, dude? Is that, is that what it is with you? Did you forget that you suck? Watch, 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 watch. Thank you so much for calling. And I'll see you in a couple days. Thank you. Bye. Oh, it's you right now. Oh, what was that? That was a little guy going in the restroom. Hey. Watch, 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 watch. Guess what? Oh, brought it back. Hello. Hi. Guess what I just go to the phone with? What? Stuff Magazine. They called. You want me to be in the magazine? How awesome. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes. Yes, 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 no. I mean, when is it? Is like soon. In the next couple of days? No. Really? Yeah. I'm going to need your help. Because it conflicts with our thing now. So, wait, you think I'm going to miss it? All right, one of the major reasons I'm here and I'm staying with Corey and Susie is because Lost Boy's 20th year anniversary, which Corey and myself are going to promote together i mean this is the movie that launched us that made us the two Corys. so i figure if we play our cards right you know why not have a comeback when is that you're forgetting already about this stuff tomorrow morning we have to go and show up at the radio thing uh, uh this is for both of us man you know that right i will do both i will find a way to do both you I gotta can. do the susie thing you just found out about it. she's finding out more details when i find out more details i'll let you know which way it goes you know, I take some promotional stuff really seriously. So I got up early, I went to the gym, I got pumped, boom, went right to the radio station. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, it's supposed to be me and two other Corey Thalman and his wife are coming, but I'm on time. He's late. Corey! Hi, hi, hi. Right. come on in, come on in. Hi. Jack, how are you? I'm really good. <gasps> Sorry, yeah, uh, he's late. Corey Haim in studio. Good Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Corey Haim is... Hi, uh, yeah. Corey Feldman is... Yeah, usually late like this, but... You know, man, I don't need him to be here, man. I don't need him. Let's just move on without him, man, and play that sad song. Are you supposed to be at the radio show? Stuff Magazine. Hi, nice to talk to you. You too. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to come there and shoot Susie as the hottest cowboy ever. Where is Mr. Feldman? He's probably, uh, you know, just something, maybe a flat top. I don't uh, know, man. Name the other seven movies you did with... Uh, wow, uh, man. Well, it started with Lost Boys and License to Drive, Dream a Little Dream, one or two. Um, we did a National Lampoon one in there in uh, Last Resort. Lost Boys, great film. You're going to do a sequel? going to do a sequel to uh, Hopefully, we'll do a sequel. Let's see Lost Girls. All right, there's always this question, is there going to be a sequel? I mean, my plan... Oof. My plan is like to write this with Feldman and get this thing off the ground now. We want it to be sexy, we want it to be risky, we want to definitely push an envelope. This, this is a cool opportunity for me, so thank you. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Okay, right. talk to you later. Bye-bye. Right. All right, take a look at you. Hi, Kimmy. Yeah. I'll save you, Kimmy. Corey, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet your pharmacist. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> He's in jail now, sir. <laughs> You know, a lot of times they'll do stuff where you're like naked, just like holding something to cover you, or like. As long as you're there, I don't, you know. Hey, Blake. Hi. Oh, hi. Where the hell were you? Oh, we've just been caught up with this photo shoot, man. Man, you better get your game on, kid. We got the Lost Boys thing coming up. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I That's couldn't right. make it. You know what? It's unprofessional. It's not cool. 
It's not just me, man. I'm sure those guys have questions for you, dude. My wife is about to do like a four-page spread and stuff magazine. Get your head on straight. She's going to be on We have business plans to make a radio show. Like, I'll do radio if I have a Dude, you know what? You want to be like that for the rest of your life? Do it. I'm going to show up on time even early like I did today. You know what? I'm really happy that all of a sudden you have this sense of responsibility. But, dude, I I don't think that you've been Mr. Oh, I'm going to show up. You guys got to keep bringing stuff up about my past and stuff because, you know what? That's just gone, Susan. You're getting so... Oh, work yeah. up, man. You want to keep it real? That's real. Oh, you know what? You're flaked. I'm happy for real? You're flaked. You are acting like a little kid. Why can't we just be happy? Because we're not allowed to be happy. my life, dude, and I'll like, get up. And the core is my life doesn't mean like fake right now. It's a radio I mean, show, dude. Like, it affects my dude, family. Dude, it's, it's a radio show. I am agreeing 100% to be at the premiere and do whatever is asked of us. And I want to have fun, too. First of all, what do you have to do with any of it, Suze? You know what You're I have part to do of with it? She's my wife. And so I anything I have to do with, she it. has to do it. She's not part of the quarries. She never will be. Coming up on the two quarries. There. That's better. Suze, why do you guys go everywhere with each other? Why are you here? Quarry, get over it, dude. Get over it. <sighs> Death by Feldman.